Are you really in a long distance relationship? Or is it a scam? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Kristen, and on this channel, we talk about long distance relationships and faith. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to spot a long distance relationship scammer. So the things I'm about to list are the things that you want to watch out for in order to protect yourself from any scam. Of course, especially when your heart is involved. Oftentimes, when we meet someone new, there's this halo effect. And we think that they're genuine and true and pure and honest. But oftentimes, if we're not cautious, we could just be getting fooled. So just a quick disclaimer. Just because your partner is showing one or two of these signs doesn't mean that they're scamming you. However, if your LDR partner is showing a lot, if not all of these signs, then you need to watch out. Girl, you better recognize. So yes, let's just hop right into it. The very first tell if you want to know if they're scamming you is that they never go on a video call with you. They will always find an excuse to never go on video calls. And if you're in this relationship for months now and they're still not on a video call with you, you need to be careful. The second tell is that their social media handles are sketchy or suspicious. So if you're casually visiting their social media accounts, maybe on Instagram or Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and then you find yourself seeing something really sus. Then sometimes you gotta listen to your gut. While we don't want to be overthinkers over here, sometimes you gotta take extra precautions to make sure that you protect yourself. Just check and see if their profiles have some sort of credibility. Do they have their friends on their social media accounts or their family? I mean, if that's a real person, they gotta show some proof of life one day or another, even if they're not very social media savvy. Speaking of friends and family, another tell is that they never show show you to their friends or family. You just really don't know any of them. They may mention to you that they have a friend so-and-so or their mom and dad so-and-so, but they would never show you to them. So if you're in this relationship for a while now and you still don't know their friends and family, what's taking so long? So to piggyback off of that, another tell is that they are very, 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 very private with their personal life and their vulnerability. Even if you show signs of interest in wanting to go deeper with your conversations, getting to know each other closer, maybe talking about your weaknesses and strengths, pains and struggles, you're gonna find yourself in a situation where it's gonna be very difficult to knock those walls down. I mean, it's okay to be private at the beginning, but as you progress in your relationship, it should be natural that your intimate your connection, communication, and your conversations will get deeper and deeper as you go. So if you're in this for a long time now and they're still not sharing you anything about their personal life, then that's gotta tell you something. Because if that person is really into this relationship seriously and for the long haul, they're gonna wanna let you in at some point. Speaking of which, another tell is that they always reply late. And I'm not talking about here and there and once in a while, I'm talking about all the time. And they're always going to make excuses and maybe even feel sorry and ask for your forgiveness whenever they do so but let me tell you this have you ever been in a relationship where you really love someone and you're so in love and you reply late Huh? What kind of world is that person from? Usually, when you're enthusiastic about a relationship, you would want to respond to them almost instantly, especially if you're not busy. And if they're always making excuses that they're busy, then they are not making time for you, period. <laughs> and also ask yourself, is this even a relationship? If it's one-sided, adding on to that tell, you're gonna know that this is a scam if they are always inconsistent with their communication and online presence. Inconsistent doesn't mean that they're not replying Inconsistency means they're hot and then they're cold and then they're hot again and then they're cold again. Cause you're hot and you're cold. Katy Perry, is that you? They're here and then they're there. They're in and then they're out. Like you just don't know with this person. It leaves you so confused, always wondering if they're going to respond or not. Pretending that you don't care if they don't reply but deep inside it hurts you. But deep inside it hurts you. So have you ever stopped and thought that maybe the reason why they can't respond all the time is because this relationship is fake and they have many other people responding to you using one single account? Like I mean it's possible right? You gotta be careful I mean these streets are streets. <laughs> Another one. You gotta be careful. It's tough out in these streets. Remember to be safe and protect yourself from people who are out there just to take advantage of you. Which brings me to another tell is that they ask for money. They make you believe that they're this genuine person and then suddenly they ask for money. 
Like, where did that come from? While long-distance relationships are really vested into giving each other gifts, money is just a whole nother level in itself. And for something that you work so hard to earn, giving it away to a person just because they ask is going to be a little bit questionable. So I would caution you to be very vigilant when it comes to giving your money away. I would suggest to wait until you guys have met in person before giving them money. I mean, you could send gifts if they want, but money is just a whole different ballgame. By all means, don't give them the money. Think about it, if you've never met this person before physically, you're gonna wanna ask yourself where they're gonna use this money. And if they say, oh, this person is sick, or I'm having trouble with work, yada yada, you would wanna be able to give that money with confidence. Which again, all boils down to your intimacy with each other. How far have you both gone into your relationship? Have you built trust? Have you been able to go deeper in your intimacy? Have you been able to commit with each other deep enough to invest money in this relationship in the way that they're asking for I mean if it's something that you really want to do for them it should be given voluntarily sorry that was my belly I'm hungry <laughs> okay another tell is that they've ghosted you before yeah so we can just end the video right here. <laughs> no, but seriously, someone who truly loves you, they're never gonna ghost you. They're always going to assure you and make sure that you know their whereabouts and what they're doing and what's happening in their life. So trust me, if they ghost, don't book. Doesn't rhyme. Another one. If they ghost, say get lost. <laughs> so yeah, if they ghost, the relationship is toast. <laughs> Another tell is that they only show you photos of themselves. So this is gonna bridge back to the first tell, which is they never go on video calls. So to compromise, they're just gonna send you pictures of themselves and you don't even know if that's actually them because you've never seen them on a video call. So like, who's to tell, right? And not only that, they only give you photos of themselves and you never see pictures of them with their friends or family. And even if you express to them your desire to want to be able to go on a video call, it's like they always dodge the question or make up excuses. And speaking of excuses, another tell is that they pretend or pose to have a busy lifestyle or career that would excuse them from being online or excuse them from replying to you immediately. So what do I mean by a busy lifestyle? lifestyle or profession. Sometimes these people be posting like people from the military or secret agent companies or just another type of job where they're unable to go online or text you because they can't have their phones or their devices with them. I mean, come on. It's the age of technology. Don't be giving me excuses that you don't got time to go on your phone because obviously we all get breaks at work and we all get off work. So if they're responding to you after three business days, you know why because they're really in a business to get money from you I am the one that so watch out from all these online ninja robbers be careful and try to avoid these scenarios as much as possible and if you encounter them run away another tell to put the cherry on top is that you do not know their home address or cell phone number yeah that one's gonna seal the deal. Usually long distance relationships like to give gifts to each other by sending care packages or send text messages whenever they're not online or able to have internet. And so if you don't have their address and you don't have their phone number, you don't have their heart. Because mm. maybe they are lying about their identity and they are just trying to scam you and steal money from you and take advantage of you. I'm really sorry that you had to learn it this way, but if that person you're with has all these things that we just listed, I say break up with them and go. Just leave, protect yourself, and save yourself some trouble. So if you were able to learn something from this video, maybe you would like to watch more of these types of content. So I will give you a card up here and you can click on that playlist to be able to watch more LDR related topics. And if you found value at any point in time in this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for more of these types of content or faith talks. Give this video a thumbs up if you are now going to be careful and protect yourself from these scammers. And as always, I will see, see you later. Hi, I'm Kristen. Kristen. <laughs> or when it comes to protecting, protecting. You can see what kind of picture <clears throat> previous. Be careful and off of that, another tell, another. So I'm going to piggyback piggy. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be careful. It's out in these, it's 
get stuff out of this.